another video. Today's video is a review of the Function Inform Type 2. Is it worth the extra ducks to get? Should you upgrade from Function Inform Type 1 to the Type 2? We're going to figure that out right now. But first, <laughs> let's do a pull. <laughs> to ride on function form suspension the type ones are basically like a daily slash daily i would say it's a daily type coilover daily based coilover the type twos are more of their aggressive lineup for, for like racing applications like whether it's drag or circuit racing or autocross or whatever you choose to do with your type two coilovers but the type twos do ride a little bit better i mean it's still like the same thing like it still rides the same but it rides a little bit better and that's due to my custom screen race size and the 32 way of fully adjustable dampening system now should you upgrade from type one to type twos that only depends if you want more out of your coilover but if you're just like a daily driver guy like myself you really don't have to upgrade to the Type 2. But since I wanted to start tracking the car, uh, I wanted to upgrade to the Type 2s because of adjustable dampening and the custom screen race size. But you can also run the custom screen race size on a Type 1. But to sum up everything, uh, the function forms are only worth it in my opinion. In my opinion. If you're looking to get more out of your coilover. Like if you want to start time attack racing your car or if you want to start drag racing your car, I highly suggest going with the Type 2 coilover just because of the dampening system. It's awesome. The dampening is what sells the Type 2s in my opinion, man. The dampening is amazing. Running from stiff to soft oh. is just, you. it's a huge ass difference. It's a huge difference. And that's pretty much my review of the Type 2s. They're amazing, they ride great, but if you're just looking for call over just a daily your car around just to be slammed or whatever, then I highly suggest staying on the Type 1s or buying Type 1s. And as I said before, Function Form do offer custom spring rates, so if you want custom spring rate sizes and majigs, then I'll leave all the links down below to Function Form if you wanna pick up a set of coilovers. And if you're out there looking for some coilovers, I do have the hookup for you guys. Use code ZOSH in all caps at www.f2autolife.com and well that's pretty much a review portion of this video now to keep the video going and to give you guys some quick updates tomorrow friday march 9th is the day that i release midnight marauder the movie by mixel media also that day i will be down in pompano beach florida tuning christina again on the bigger injectors to make some more power Randy sadly will not be tuning because the guy that's supposed to come back to work, so we're gonna get some days off. Isn't coming back, so Randy has to slave his ass more. So that sucks. I also seen in the comments on my last video saying, Zosh, why didn't you get the rear rotors? I did. Today I was gonna film, but I thought I would have been boring because I already did the front. So the rear rotors are now installed and I did everything right. I've uh, bed the brakes, not bled. I bed them boys. I was putting them suckers to bed, boy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding functioning form suspension, write them down below and I'll be sure to get to them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video with the release of Midnight Marauder the movie. Woo! Since you guys killed on the merch, how about we do a weekend flash sale? Everything on ZoshiMFG.com is 40% off. Just use code Zosh and you will receive 40% off your entire purchase order. So order up, sucker. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.